friends. Uh, so today we're going to do a super chill unboxing. We're on the floor, no makeup on, it's going to be real chill. Uh, so I got two of these from my comic book mystery boxes. I did open them first, so you didn't have to watch me struggle to open them. Um, I haven't looked inside them yet, um, I've just seen that much. So I'm excited. Um, they're Halloween mystery boxes, they're supposed to have a bunch of Bronze Age horror books. Uh, the big, big book to win is Tomb of Dracula 1. While I would really like to get that, I also just like Bronze Age horror, so I think no matter what we'll be okay. So let's dig into the first one here. It seems like everything is packed super well, I see lots of bubble wrap, I see a lot of candy. Go along with a Halloween vibe, I guess. I'll pretend like I'm not going to consume all of these later, but that'll be a lie. Um, Alright, cool, so let's see what this paper says. Limit edition Halloween mystery comic book box. Strictly limited to 75 boxes. 10 randomly selected horror and suspense comics per box. Silver, bronze, copper, and modern age comics are in the random horror mix. Surprise key issues. 1 in 9 boxes contain a bonus 11th key. Grand prize is a 1 in 75 chance, the team of Dracula number 1. Uh, Neil Adams classic, obviously. Candy and monster stickers. Ooh, stickers. <laughs> uh, free shipping. And then you can see more at sellmycomicbooks.com slash mystery. I don't think they have any more of these in stock. If they do, I'll link it below. Elsewise, I'll just link their normal uh, website down below so you can check them out. You should also check out their YouTube. They do some really cool unboxing for really big collections they take in. Super into it. I love them. Uh, we got this dinosaurs attack. What year is this from? 1988. Oh good. I'm sure the, the gum in here is really good. But it also has five cards and a sticker. I actually really like dinosaurs, so that's kind of cool. So as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of bubble wrap inside, which is nice. It looks like they have a bunch of raw books in one bag. Already flew open a little bit. So first, I guess, let's count how many we have to see if we got the one in nine chance or whatever of an 11th key. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, ten books, so we weren't that lucky. Let's go through them. Okay, so we got Haunted Library number 37. This guy's got some foxing up here, but it's a cool cover. Ooh, I love House of Mystery. We got House of Mystery 261. That's a sweet cover. The colors are nice on this guy. You can see it's got some tanning at the bottom a little bit. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's got a little bit of a crease over in here, but presents well enough. We got the unexpected number 200. Ooh, looks like we got some staining right here. But again, presents pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, weird world. I can't talk. Weird War Tales, number 53. That's a really cool cover. Whoa, check that out. <laughs> That's awesome. Back looks pretty clean on this guy. Ooh, ghost number 54. This is a sick cover. It's got this <laughs> skeleton ghost monster thing. This is the kind of stuff I love, just random older horror stuff. Tower of Showers. Tower of Shadows, not Tower of Showers, don't listen to me. Tower of Shadows number six, also a really cool cover. This whole series is pretty cool. I never find them. I guess it wasn't too popular. I'm assuming we're not gonna see any old EC stuff or anything. <laughs> uh, Where Creatures Roam number six. A few issues of this run. They didn't go on for too long either, so I might actually be pretty close to that run. Ooh, Where Monsters Dwell, I love this cover. Of course, it's not actually first group, but it's still awesome. God, that's so cool. Since I'm <laughs> definitely never going to own the real thing. This is awesome. We got the Phantom, number 66. Look how derpy the shark looks. <laughs> Love sharks. That's so cute. Oh, <laughs> we got Hot Stuff, number 56. This guy could definitely benefit from a press and a clean, but it's also got some tanning up at the top here. I don't know how well that shows up on camera. You can see it kind of just goes along all the edges, which happens a lot. It looks like the bottom staples pop too. Yeah, bottom staples attached from cover, but attached otherwise. All right, so it was really cool. That was the first box. So let's check out the second one. Again, packed really well. 
Ooh, different candy. <laughs> My mom loves these, so I'll go give her that later on. Got some licorice. I'm noticing a lot of uh, fireballs in all these. There was like six or something in the last one. There's a bunch in here. Again, bunch of bubble wrap. Awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Got another dinosaur's attack. Same deal. It's a bunch of raw books in one big bag. Same little info sheet. Let's take these bad boys out. Okay, again, we'll count them up. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Not lucky enough. Okay, cool. We got more Where Creatures Roam. This is number four. Very cool. I love big monster stuff. Also, check out the sound effect. Bandoom. I guess that might be the dude's name. Another haunted library. This one is number 32. This one's in pretty good condition. You can see it's got a little bit stuff here, but there you go. I like this cover. Got ghosts number 42. The unexpected number 182. Pretty cool. <laughs> I love the little blurb he says. Look at our new patient's brain. He is a potential killer. House of Mystery, number 249. Another one I don't think I can ever really fill out. It's a little pricey, but really, really cool. Colors are great on that one. Where Monsters Dwell, number four. This is like still got the gloss and everything. This one's nice. Also a great color too. That is a creepy thing. I love weird monsters, honestly. We got Phantom number 56. I'm noticing a lot of the same titles in here, so it seems like they bought a collection that had a few runs and they just kind of pieced them out this way. Here's another hot stuff. Hot stuff number 27. This guy's really cute. I don't really like all these old like Harvey kind of comics, but like you know, Richie Rich and stuff. That one's kind of cute. Uh Spine Tingling Tales. One of the gold pea books. That is a cool cover. I do like all these like painted covers. It's pretty much the only thing I feel gold keys got going for them. I guess unless you're like a Turok fan. Oh, it's got some staining up here. It's got a big crease down the middle. Definitely benefit from a press and a clean, but honestly, I don't think that book is really worth pressing and cleaning, but I guess five time. Forbidden World. I do have another Forbidden Worlds comic. They have some cool covers. It's got really, the colors in here are really nice. I don't know who this magic man is, but it looks cool. So yeah, that's it. Just two boxes. Uh, unfortunately, no Tomb of Dracula number one, but I didn't really think that we would get that. Um, but yeah, this was really cool. I, I think it was definitely fun, and it's not like they had a bunch of junk in their boxes either, because sometimes mystery boxes are just, you get the prize or you get a bunch of junk fillers. This was kind of cool. Uh, I really like the theme. I definitely thought that made it a whole lot more fun and it was definitely what enticed me to get it. So I definitely recommend them if you're looking for just something fun to open. Um, I definitely recommend you watch their YouTube videos. They're kind of addicting. They get like big collections that are like, here's a $20,000 collection, let's open some stuff. And they have some crazy first appearances I've seen them get. Yep. Yeah. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see me check out, any other boxes you want to see me open or any other cool mystery things to know about, let me know. Hit me up with a comment. Um, if you want to check me out on Instagram, I'm at Tessa is the nerd. Uh, Tessa period is period uh, period nerd. I'll put it in the description also, as well as a link to these guys and a link to the YouTube. Um, but I post a ton more pictures on my Instagram. I post some pictures of my dog who's sitting there and miraculously not snoring. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can do better here. Uh, I'll definitely get a better setup at some point and not just sitting on the ground in front of my dresser. But I mean, you, you gotta see cute Dio. So yeah, thank you for watching, bye.